Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 30th March 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by PM Narendra Modi has given the approval for the procurement of 15 light combat helicopters or LCH limited series production version. 10 helicopters is for Indian Air Force and 5 for Indian Army. The 15 LCH from initial order has been now inducted into both the services. On 29 September 2023, ANI has reported that Indian Air Force as the lead service has moved a proposal to government for buying 156 percent helicopters as a joint acquisition case. Out of 156, 66 will be inducted into Indian Air Force and 90 into the Indian Army. The proposal is expected to get approval soon. On 24th October 2023, the HL chairman has said to Hindustan Times that HL has finalized the additional requirements and is planning to execute this order in shortest possible time, that is, in five to six years. HL is looking to produce 25 LCH Pachan helicopters per year. HL has already inaugurated its largest helicopter manufacturing facility in Tumukur, which is capable of producing 90 helicopters per year, which could be a mix of LCH, LUH and IMRH in the future. Talking about LCH Pachand, it is a 5.8 ton class state-of-art attack helicopter. The helicopter features a narrow fuselage and a tandem seating for the pilot and the co-pilot. The machine is designed for load detection that is reduced visual, oral, radar and infrared signatures and is fitted with crash-worthy landing gear for better survivability. Powered by two Shakti engines, the helicopter has a maximum speed of 268 km per hour, range of 750 km, operational ceiling of 6.5 km and hovering ceiling of 4 km. It has an endurance of nearly 4 hours. LCH offers best-in-class maneuverability, range, high altitude performance and round-the-clock all-weather combat capability. It is capable of operating in any terrain, weather or altitude but is especially suitable for high altitude operation. As per the group captain Hari Nair, one of the lead project pilots of LCH, it is fast, agile machine, it charges clean through air turbulences where a lot of helicopters give up under the such harsh weather conditions. Nair's effusive assessment stems from the helicopter's performance over the Ladakh sector in winter where pilots witness severe air turbulence with wind speed up to 150 km per hour. LCH can operate at an altitude of 5,000 meter with full load of weaponry. It can take off from 15,000 feet. It can carry full weapon payload at 14,000 feet, which is unmatched in its category. The unique performance criteria of LCH present and being able to deliver at high altitude warfare has put armed forces leaps ahead of the other countries. It is most deadly Himalayan predator which enemy do not want to engage at high altitudes. At the same time, LCH has also equally done well in terms of slow speed performance at lower flight altitude. The helicopter is extremely maneuverable and is capable of destroying enemy air defenses and engaging in combat search and rescue and counter insurgency operations. LCH has total weapons payload capacity of 920 kg and it can be armed with variety of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles, 70mm rocket and 20mm turret gun. It can also carry 250 kg of bombs. The helicopter is also called Tank Buster and is being integrated with anti-tank guided missiles. Its anti-tank capability is based on Dhruvastra, a variant of Helena anti-tank guided missile which can hit targets between a range of 500 meters to 7 kilometers. At present, Prashant has the standoff range of 4 to 6 kilometers for ground attack. This is provided by FZ-275 
LGR that is laser guided rocket weapon systems by Thales. This system supports both guided and unguided rockets. The guided rockets are quite good for precision attack. LCS can carry maximum 4 rocket launchers, two on its either side with each pod capable of carrying 12 rockets. So in total LCS can carry 48 rockets. The helicopter is also very effective against UAV because fighter jets are too fast to engage them. On January 17, 2019, Russian has successfully engaged a moving aerial target with air-to-air -air missile at the integrated test range at Chandipur, Odisha. It was the first ever air-to-air -air engagement in India by a helicopter. For air-to-air -air engagement, LSIG is integrated with MBDS Mistral 2 missile, which gives it an interception range of 6.5 km against airborne threats. Talking about its avionics, sensors and electronic warfare suite, LCH comes up with glass cockpit, integrated avionics and display system which uses an array of multi-functional displays along with target acquisition and designation system. The helmet mounted sight is prominent feature of TADS which is used for targeting and triggering the rotorcraft's armaments. LCH comes up with a data link capability for network centric operation facilitating transfer of mission data to other airborne platforms and ground stations. It is fitted with indigenous avionics such as radio communication system, radio altimeter and identification friend of four. The onboard sensor suite is Elbit Compass produced locally by Bharat Electronics Limited. It consists of a CCD camera, a forward looking infrared FLIR imaging sensor, a laser range finder and a laser designator to facilitate target acquisition under all weather conditions including day night time. The LCH will be protected via an extensive electronic warfare suite powered by the SAP group which consists of radar warning receiver, laser warning receiver and a missile approach warning system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.